Terse, or third hour, is a fixed time of prayer of the Divine Office in almost all the Christian liturgies. It consists mainly of psalms and is said at 9 am its name comes from Latin and refers to the third hour of the day after dawn. Origin <inaudible> 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 The origin of terse, like that of sext and nun, to which it bears a close relationship, dates back to apostolic times. According to an ancient custom of the Romans and Greeks, the day and night respectively were divided into four parts of about three hours each. The second division of the day contained the hours from about the modern 9 clock until about midday, using the Roman numbering the hour just preceding this division was called hora tertia the third hour from which the word terse is derived. Since the Roman day was divided into twelve hours from sunrise to sunset regardless of day length, the timing for Hora Tertia depended on the latitude and day of year. At Rome's latitude Hora Tertia was in modern terms 902 to 946 solar time at the winter solstice, but at the summer solstice it was 658 to 813. These divisions of the day were also in vogue among the Jews at the time of Christ. In the New Testament we find mention of the sixth hour in Matthew 20 verse 5, and of the ninth hour, in Matthew 27 verse 46. The Holy Ghost descends upon the Apostles on the day of Pentecost at the third hour, Acts 2 verse 15. Some of these texts prove that these three hours were, in preference to others, chosen for prayer by the Christians, and probably also by the Jews, from whom the Christians appear to have borrowed the custom. Development The Fathers of the Church and the ecclesiastical writers of the 3rd century frequently mention terse, sext, and none as hours for daily prayers. Tertullian, around the year 200, recommended, in addition to the obligatory morning and evening prayers, the use of the third, sixth, and ninth hours of daylight to remind oneself to pray. Clement of Alexandria and Tertullian refer only to private prayer at these three hours. The canons of Hippolytus also speak of these three hours as suitable for private prayer. However, on the days called, "...days of station," that is to say Wednesday and Friday, which were set apart as especially consecrated to prayer, and Sunday, these hours were recited in public. Saint Cyprian remarked that these three hours had been observed in the Old Testament, and that Christians should also observe them. In the 4th century the custom of praying at these hours became more frequent, and even obligatory, at least for monks. The elements of the prayer of terse, sext, or none before the 4th century probably consisted of psalms, canticles, hymns, and litanies, St. Jerome said. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 we must set aside stated hours for the duty of praying. Then, should any occupation keep us away from it, the hour itself will remind us of that duty. As such prayer times everyone knows of the third, sixth and ninth hours, the morning and the evening hours." It is from the 4th century onwards that we can gather a more precise idea as to the composition of the hour of terse. Most of John Cassian's Institutes 3.3 is an exegetical justification for the offices of terse, sext, and none, in which he relates each hour to a scriptural passage in which an important event occurs at that hour. In this way, by directing the monks to scripture, the hours acquired an educational benefit. This was also the view held in Ireland, where the psalms selected for terse focused on the glorification of the risen Christ. It seems there was no universal practice of the communal recitation of these hours until the Middle Ages. On Sundays, terse was sung in organum before the principal mass, and included the hymn Nuinc Sancta Nobis Spiritus, which recalls the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the Apostles. In the monastery of Larens, work commenced after terse and continued until nuns. The custom of little hours grew up in the monastic and larger church in the course of the centuries and still is followed in stricter monasteries and hermitages. These hours also continue to be prayed by many religious communities. Terse, sext, and nun have an identical structure, each with three psalms or portions of psalms. These are followed by a short reading from Scripture, once referred to as a little chapter capitulum, and by a versicle and response. The Lesser Litany Kyrie and the Lord's Prayer of Pius X's arrangement have now been omitted. Current Roman Catholic practice refers to terse as, "...mid-morning prayer". The 1979 Anglican Order of Service for Noonday is based upon the traditional structure of the Little Offices. 
Symbolism The purpose of the little hours terse, sext, and nun is to provide a brief respite from the day's activities and an opportunity for prayer. This time of day is associated with the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the Apostles on the day of Pentecost, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Acts 2 verse 15. The hour's general theme is therefore, the invocation of the Holy Spirit, and invokes the Holy Spirit for strength in dealing with the conflicts of the day. Quote, it is a come, Holy Ghost, upon the day's work. <inaudible> Armenian liturgy in the Armenian Book of Hours, Armenian Zamagurk Zamagurk backquote, the third hour, Armenian Erud Zam Erud Zam is a short service with minimal changes depending on the liturgical season. It is celebrated in commemoration of the descent of the Holy Spirit and in commemoration of the first mothers, i.e. Eve's tasting of the fruit of the tree at the center of the garden and of the liberation of humanity through Christ. Outline of the third hour. Introduction. Blessed is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father. Blessed is the Holy Spirit, true God. Amen. Psalm chapter 51, Have mercy on me. Glory. Now and always. Amen. Hymn of the Third Hour, We bless you, unoriginate Father. Ornays emk zk ez her anskisben. Exhortation, at every hour may my prayer be this Amenane Zamu. During the Great Fast The prayer of John Mandakuni unanimously let everyone give thanks Miyabin Amanek Ian Gohats Aruk Otherwise continue here Prayer, you who repose on the Cherubic throne Or Ik Rovpikan Psalm chapter 68 verses 19 to 21 Blessed is God Proclamation Let us beseech the Lord in faith Condrests backquote oak backquote havatov Prayer guide us Aranordia mes Prayer of Sarkawag Vardapat Remember Lord your servants Hishia Prayer God beneficent and full of mercy Barirer Ev Bizumogorm Estuats. Psalm chapter 23, The Lord will shepherd me. Psalm chapter 143, verses 9 to 12, Show me the way. Glory to the Father. Now and always. Amen. Proclamation, again and again in peace. Let us with thanksgiving pray. Gohabanelev. Prayer through your peace. Kaghaghaw backquote eambk backquote ov. Blessed is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father. Topic: Eastern Christian Office. Topic: In the Eastern Orthodox and Greek Catholic churches, the office of the third hour is normally read by a single reader and has very little variation in it. Three fixed psalms are read at the third hour, Psalm 16, 24, and 50 LXX. The only variable portions for most of the year are the troparia either one or two and kontakion of the day. During Great Lent a number of changes in the office take place. On Monday through Friday, after the three fixed psalms, the reader says a kathisma from the Psalter. The troparion of the day is replaced by special Lenten hymns that are chanted with prostrations. Then a portion of the Ladder of Divine Ascent may be read. The Kontakion of the Day is replaced by special Lenten troparia. Near the end of the hour, the prayer of Saint Ephraim is said, with prostrations. During Holy Week, on Great Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, the services are similar to those during Great Lent including the reading of a kathisma, but instead of the normal Lenten hymns which replace the Kontakion, the Kontakion of the Day i.e., that day of Holy Week is chanted. On Great Thursday and Saturday, the little hours are more like normal. On Great Friday, the royal hours are chanted. 
During the Lesser Lenten seasons Nativity Fast, Apostles Fast and Dormition Fast the Little Hours undergo changes similar to those during Great Lent, except the Lenten hymns are usually read instead of chanted, and there are no kathismata. In addition, on weekdays of the Lesser Fasts, an inter-hour may be read immediately after each hour at least on the first day of the fast. The inter-hours follow the same general outline as the Little Hours, except they are shorter. See also Topic Breviary Canonical hours Christian liturgy Gregorian chant Little hours Liturgy of the hours Nunc sancta nobis spiritus Plain song Topic Notes Topic <laughs>